Relations, Probationary Period Repeal Amendment Bill, first reading. Mr Speaker, I move that the Employment Relations Probationary Period Repeal Amendment Bill be now read a first time. Mr Speaker, my parliamentary colleagues, I seek your support for people who are being exploited in the workplace due to the National Government's 2008 Employment Relations Amendment Act. Before I start, Mr Speaker, there are many people I need to acknowledge. Let me start with Charles Cheval for the important role that he has played in drafting this bill. Ma lo opito, my Tahitian brother, Charles Cheval. Secondly, I need to acknowledge our Labor team who worked tirelessly fighting for the rights of wage and salary earners. I particularly acknowledge our spokesperson of Labor, the Honourable Trevor Mallard, and our associate spokesperson of Labor, Labor, uh, Labor MPs Darian Fenton and Carol Beaumont. Thirdly, I need to acknowledge the ongoing work undertaken by all of our union members in their fight to protect the rights of workers and ensure fairness is achieved and maintained in the workplace. My bill seeks to repeal the 90-day trial period that the national government introduced for new workers in businesses that employ fewer than 20 people. My bill will restore the relevant provisions of the Employment Relations Act to the pre-2008 application. We were vehemently opposed to the 90-day Fire at Will Act because it was an attack on workers' rights, an attack on fairness and decency, and an unnecessary move by the national government. It has hindered rather than helped employment during the recession, and we are of the strong belief that it must be repealed as soon as possible before more damage is done. With that in mind, what has caused outrage from us on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, and numerous members of the public is the government's recent announcements one, will, one week after my bill was drawn from the ballot that they would be looking to extend the provisions of their Act to apply to all workplaces of all sizes. This will be negative for all wage and salary earners, including those who change jobs. 700,000 Kiwis start a new job each year. That will be 700,000 workers whose employers can sack them without a reason and without a right of redress. There are no two ways about it. The 90-day trial legislation should not be extended. It should be done away with entirely. The 90-day fire at will bill that the national government introduced in 2008 can only be described in the following four ways. One, exploitation of marginalised New Zealanders. Two, arrogance towards ordinary working Kiwis. Three, a corporate favour from that government to their business mates. And four, disregard for fairness and the fundamental rights of wage and salary earners. What needs to be highlighted, Mr Speaker, is that prior to the government's 90-day fire at will bill, Trial periods were not unknown in employment contracts. Then, trial periods were about fair appraisals of a new employee's capability to do the job. For employers, they mitigated some of the risk of employing new people, but the key element of these trial periods was fairness. Employees had a right to a fair appraisal. If they were dismissed, they had a right to know why. They also had the right to appeal the decision if they felt they were being unfairly dismissed. This was the situation before the national government's changes. So what happened next? The government decided that legislation for fair, for fair dismissal wasn't enough. They decided to legislate for unfair dismissal. This move was seen as so important to the national government that they included it in their first 100 days of action programme. In hindsight, the national government had no qualms about demonstrating their right-wing agenda from the get-go. By introducing the 90-day trial period, they put all of the power in the hands of the employers, taking away the employees' rights to appeal. It was nothing short of an attack on fairness, decency and workers' rights. 
The national government has taken the position that the 90-day legislation has been a boost for people on the margins of the workforce who need an employer to give them a chance in a new job. The national government has tried to tell New Zealanders that the 90-day legislation encourages small businesses to give a prospective employee a go without fear of costly and protracted legal proceedings if the relationship doesn't work out. The national government have touted this legislation as being a success. Now let's look at the unemployment rates and gauge for ourselves how much of a success this legislation has been. When that national government took office in 2008, the unemployment rate for Māori was 8.3 per cent. It is now 13.6 per cent. When that national government took office in 2008, the unemployment rate for Pacific was 7.4 per cent. It is now 13.3 per cent. When they took office, the unemployment rate for young people aged 15 to 19 was 17.9 per cent. It is now 25.2 per cent. The unemployment rate for 20 to 24 year olds was 7.3 per cent. It is now 11.4 per cent. The overall unemployment rate when they took office was 4.4 per cent. It is now 6.6 per cent. How can that national government stand up in this parliament and tell us, that the, tell us and the rest of New Zealand that the 90-day bill has been a success? How can that national government stand up in this parliament and suggest that the provisions of their act be extended even further? It has done nothing to alleviate the poverty imposed on an increasing number of New Zealand families. The provisions of the 90-day bill only serve to deny New Zealanders starting out in new jobs the dignity that they deserve and the employment rights that they should be automatically entitled to in this country. Last month, the Minister for Social Development cited a Department of Labour report on the 90-day trial period scheme as apparent proof that the original legislation was working as intended. But this report notes that many employees hired under the scheme felt vulnerable to unfair treatment and job loss. Nearly a quarter of the workers employed under this scheme were sacked. Is this what the government intended when they implemented the scheme? The report found some instances where trial periods appeared to have been misused by some employers. Is this what the government intended when they implemented the scheme? The report notes that it cannot be stated categorically that the scheme had created any extra job opportunities. So what does the government do? They push on with the expansion of the scheme, despite the lack of any clear evidence that it is creating new jobs. We know the trial period scheme has been abused by some employers. There are many examples of that, including an example recently in the Dominion Post about a woman named Alison Murray. We have been told time and time again by this government that the 90-day trial is about giving people a chance, particularly those who are disadvantaged in the labour market. This includes young people, Māori and Pacific, migrants and people with disabilities or mental illness. How does this, give, this government give them chances? By taking away their right to a fair go. They told us that it would increase job opportunities for the most marginalised working age New Zealanders. Well, I ask this government today, where are those job opportunities? I can't find them. The Department of Labour can't find them. The young, the Māori, Pacific, migrant and disabled job seekers can't find them either. It is insulting that the national government would patronise New Zealanders in search of employment by stating over and over again that this legislation is there to help them. The only people that are benefiting from this 90-day fire at will bill are the National Party's mates that own businesses and want to have workers where they don't have to adhere to the legislation. Our workers are our greatest asset as a country. They deserve respect. They deserve job security. What they don't deserve is this prolonged attack on workers' rights by the national government. 
I ask all of my parliamentary colleagues tonight to support my bill, which will see the national government's 90-day fire at will bill repealed. Thank you. The question is that the motion be